so we got a call for three trucks. Trevor says it's two Fords and a Chevy. Mm -hmm. They're all the way up here on Skyline Drive, like clear up by Spanish Fork. So they've been up there a couple of days. It's been snowing a couple of days. It should be interesting to get them out. We got a pretty full crew here today. We got Tucker with the weather. It's 31 degrees. It's pretty mellow where we're at, but we know we're driving into a snowstorm. So we got Trevor back. He was missing in action yesterday for a wedding, right? Yeah. Well, congratulations, Trevor. No, not my wedding, my son's wedding. Congratulations, Trace. And then we got Lizzie. I just need everybody to answer honestly. Who takes up the most space? Lizzie. Lizzie. Look at me. Are no, you today you're behaving. Yeah. Normally she's like, spread, <laughs> clear out. Yeah, this isn't a question of mass. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll just, like, my personality just takes up the whole space. If you say so. <laughs> Tell your personality to stop man spreading. So. <laughs> I do not have my sunglasses in here inexplicably because I keep them up there, but Jamie's are in there And that's how we're gonna do it today So we are heading into this snowstorm and it is starting to look pretty grim and there's a part of me that thinks that this is uh, a bad idea, but we're gonna do it anyway. Right, guys? We came prepared. Did we? Did we? I did. I brought cheesecake. And I brought cheese sticks. I brought frosted flakes. Oh, See, if I would've just brought some corn flakes, they would've frosted themselves outside. Oh man, that was a reach, Trevor. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Sure so when Rudy's out there, he's just gonna see a beard. So white. Trevor, did you pick up the wrong bag of jokes this morning on your way out of the house? <laughs> oh, why are you dragging that through this weather? They immediately regretted their decision. So Siri just informed me that there's a hazard ahead. I don't know what that means. Look at the parade. There's a parade over there. Well, we are out of fuel. The fuel light is on. So we're gonna get some, even though I don't want to. We're even gonna fuel up the Bombi. That is frozen. We just got the keys. That's the first one we'll come to, the second one, the third one. The page is the one that got stuck and her friends went to help her and they got stuck, so. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go get a few trucks out of the snow. I heard that this road is treacherous even when it's not snowy and icy. It's snowy and icy. If I said I wasn't a little bit nervous, I'd be lying. I kind of feel like we're walking into a bad situation. We have an option, we could turn around, but we're not going to. You feel like you can handle it? If you don't hear from us by 8 p.m., start loading. I'm so scared for all of you. <laughs> bring snacks <laughs> so we just talked to robbie and we have a plan if he hasn't heard from us by 8 p.m he's gonna load the big granddaddy snow kitty on and head up here and see if he can rescue us all right so we are taking some bets here on how long this will take okay these are the rules it's from when we get in the bombi till we get back to the truck with all the vehicles recovered at that point uh, i'm gonna say 90 minutes i think we're gonna walk in and walk right out two hours and 15 minutes I'm saying three and a half. Two hours and 45 minutes. I'm going to say it's going to take three hours on the nose. All right, so it looks like none of us want to have to wait for Robbie to come save us. But we'll be so grateful <laughs> when he does, <laughs> if that does happen. Thanks, Robbie. Woo. Slippery. Careful. We don't want another incident. Nope. All right, well done. Oh. <laughs> what happened, Trevor? There's ice under this here snow. We gotta stop them incidents. <laughs> Trevor went down. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That was early. We may have made a bad judgment call already. Yes, I said we, because we're a team. Not a lot of places to turn around on this road. The snow is getting deeper and the road is getting steeper. Maybe we should just quit while we're ahead right here. Are we are we ahead? No. Keep going! Remember, these are full-size trucks. Know. I know, guys. <laughs> oh, I don't even have snow chains on. Dude, we're in snow drifts here. 
Oh. Is that a turnaround spot? Trevor. <laughs> Trevor. <laughs> okay, this is where I'm turning around, Trevor. Okay. And nothing you can do about it. Is there a nice place up there? <laughs> Looks like it, doesn't it? <laughs> guys are thinking I make these shades look good and you're mostly correct if only you had snow chains frozen solid here you can stick it in my arm pit I don't think sunglasses are for the weak I think they're for people who have too much time on their hands enough time to constantly buy, lose, remember, go back for sunglasses. Well done boys, let's go home. Yeah, Head of schedule. Ford got stuck, then the Chevy got okay. stuck, then the Ford got stuck, and the Ford got stuck. Okay, I'm gonna put this truck right here, Rudy. And then the Ford got stuck. And it just assures that it'll be here waiting for us when we get back. So the last job that we did, you'll notice we had a really hard time steering this. So that was yesterday, actually. I got up early this morning, adjusted the levers, and I've got foot brakes now. So here's to just a couple more jobs. Stay together, Bobby. We need you. So here's one of them. This is the first one. So that means the pin's probably at the third one. I think the walk in and walk out, like you predicted, is looking more and more favorable. We need a reaction from you, Lizzie. Words, of, words of wisdom. You'd be like, we're gonna put her in reverse, yeah. we're gonna flip her around, That's what we're and gonna drive do. her down. I gotta scoot the seat forward first. Okay. That's number one. <laughs> I keep doing that. Falling? Sorry. No. Buckling my knee. One, three, buckle my knee. I'm gonna follow you down. Take it easy, Tucker. Jump out if it gets scary. Yeah, you found the edge. <laughs> Rudy, keep her from spinning so once she's on traction, she can drive. That's fine. We're, we're okay. Let's get this one up and get it turned around. And then I can get in front of you and pull this one. Right. Let's see what happens. How are those snowshoes? 
Uh, they're taking a little bit to get used to. So a fan named Randy sent us some snowshoes, testing them out. So thank you, Randy, for the shoes. I'm gonna try to run in them a second, see how it goes. See ya. I feel like I'm wearing clown shoes. The question is, should we get that one out first? I think I sh we should. Yeah, jump in it. Don't spin your wheels. Get up on top of it. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall. I have to walk like Sasquatch. We're gonna throw this rope in the back of your truck, Rudy. That way, if somebody gets stuck, we've always got a rope and a jackal. Okay, I'm gonna head down first and try to pack down a little different spot. You guys just follow. Look at this. I've got one of these. So you know they're the real deal. Gnarly. Treading the gnar, bro. Oh gosh. Oh, there's a hole. That sucked us in. <laughs> oh, Trevor. Like Groundhog Day. Same thing over and over again every day. Shorts. Oh, I'll go get this last truck while they're fighting that. Good news is we're almost all out. Bad news is they're kind of stuck down there right now. just a struggle the trucks keep falling through the hard pack the bombi is asking for attention it's only firing on three cylinders till about half throttle and then the other three kick in and it pops a wheelie so that's your power band yeah nice rope yep get yours today at mattsoffroadrecovery.com Go get yours. The last melon. It's frozen. 
Yeah. We're just gonna pull it out onto the road and then load the bombie on it. Where's your gloves that you usually bring for me? Why aren't you wearing them? Because I'm driving. <laughs> This is the repair that Rory made on the Indianola job. We're on recovery number five since then, and it's still holding up. We haven't done anything about it. Go, Lizzie, go. Go, Lizzie, go. You can't do anything with gloves on. Yeah, you need to go back to the meat paws. <laughs> You're never going to let me down, though. There you go. never let you down. Oops, are we driving them all the way down back in the Spanish Fork? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To the bank. So we're not done yet. We're not out of the woods yet. Yeah. But what time is it? The Bombie did it again though. Yeah, what time is it? Not so we anything. left at 3? 4.25. Oh An hour and 25 gosh. minutes. Dang. How Dang. many minutes is that total? <laughs> hey, we haven't, we're not back to the main road no, yet. No, that wasn't the deal. No. He said it was on the trailer. I said that kind of explains why we have to travel so far sometimes because one truck got stuck, another came up to get it, it got stuck, another came up to get, get it, and it got stuck. So tow companies that have been around a while, they know that they're just gonna get stuck, so they just turn it down. So then, people ask around, and then it finally comes to us. This is a scary little section of road, if I do say so yeah. myself. So there's a song, I don't know what it's called. I think it's called The Truck Got Stuck, but I'm not 100% sure. It's by Core Blonde. It's been going through my head all day while we've been doing this recovery. I'll pin a comment with a link to that video and you guys can go check it out. Pretty funny song. You'll see why it was going through my head the whole time we were doing this job. <laughs> I got a cheesecake. It's a victory cheesecake. I brought it all the way up here with me. Have a bite, everybody. Mm, that was good, huh? No. Oh. Hey, uh, we made it back to the main road. Okay, cool. I yep. figured. Yep. Yeah. You know, the best weather we've ran into was up here on the mountain. It is terrible down there. But it's, it's pretty nice up here, really. Gosh, we're pretty bad at parking, aren't we? Our At least Tucker place. has an excuse. He drives a Civic. <laughs> All right, Paige, we just need the story. What happened? Oh, no. I was bored on a Sunday, so I decided to take a trip to the mountain. And I made it up, but coming down was the problem. Kind of got stuck. I called a friend. They took forever. He was stuck. I called some more friends. They were stuck. So I was up there for like seven and a half hours trying to get them out, but these guys did it. Here you go. <laughs> Thanks, that's awesome. Love it. All right, how was that? I don't know what to say, Tucker. <laughs> so we just dropped the vehicles off there at the bank, which is where they wanted them dropped off. Are we tow guys or repo guys? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all in all, it was a good day. So we got there, we got stuck, we got them unstuck, we got us unstuck, and we got the trucks back to their owners, and we are headed home, and it's been a long day, and it ain't over yet. Thanks for watching.